Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Long time no see, that's one thing, sure. Um, I'm sorry for the inactivity here on YouTube. I've been pretty much, you know, focusing on Ginger Cell's contest, so that definitely, you know, <sighs> took my focus. But, you know, I'm filming a video today and that's what's important. So, in today's tutorial, well, in today's video, I just pulled y'all, well, you can read it in the title as well, but, in today's video, we are gonna be making this Lumigurumi box frog, or just literally frog, however you like to call it. This is my newest design, and I posted this on Instagram, and a lot of people wanted me to film a tutorial for it, so, here it is. I also posted this on the community tab on here on YouTube and yeah, some of you were asking for a tutorial and even though no one asked for a tutorial, I was still gonna film a tutorial for this because honestly, I do not know what else to film except for tutorials. That's why I'm coming up with new designs. So yeah, this guy is what we're gonna be making today and... Yeah, I just want to say thank you for your love for this design. So this is how it looks like in front and this is how it looks like at the back. And this is a fairly easy and repetitive design, I should say. It's not really super hard. So if you know the basics of Lumigurumi, then this might be just for you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started to getting the materials that we are going to need to make this Lumigurumi frog or box frog whatever <laughs> so the materials that we are gonna need to make this lumigurumi frog are any type of hook as usual i'm gonna be using my rainbow loom hook we are also gonna be needing a stitch marker for that i will be using this c clip you know any type of thing that you can use just to mark well, just to take note of your rows, anything, you can use a bobby pin or a safety pin, anything. Um, aside from these two, we are also going to need some bands. So we are going to be using, well, if you're going to do it like how I did it, we're going to be using three colors. So what are those three colors? First, we're going to need our body color, the, the neon green here. And we're gonna, if you're gonna be adding cheeks, you can, you can choose not to, but today I'm gonna be adding the cheeks, so we're gonna need some pink bands, we're gonna need two of those, or whatever cheek bands, cheek color you want. And for the smile, you're also gonna need a band for that, so I'm using a black band, and as you can see, it is a cut band already, so just grab a black band and cut it using your scissors. And lastly, no, not lastly, you're also going to need something for the eyes. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using what I used in this froggy. I'm going to be using this 10 millimeter safety eyes. If you do not have any safety eyes, you can use bands or even beads. Just if you're using beads, just wrap through a band the same as your body color band and you can just slip knot it once you're done making the body and also for the bands if you're using bands you can just grab three four or five bands black bands depending on however big your eyes um your you want your frog's eyes to be so you're just gonna grab let's just say three bands and wrap it twice on your hook creating three loops and then just grab your one body color band and slip knot it i hope i was clear anyway lastly we are gonna be needing some stuffing and i have my stuffing here so i think these are gonna be the materials that we are gonna be needing to make this lumigurumi frog don't worry you guys band count will be in the description below Without further ado now, let's officially start with our froggy. So the first thing that we are going to make are the arms and the legs. 
So we're going to be doing four of those. We're going to be making four of those. In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing one with you. I'm going to teach you how to make one. So that means you're going to have to pause the video and make yourself three more. That being said, I already made my three extra arms or legs um, beforehand. So again, after I show you one arm or leg, you are going to make three more for a total of four. So what you're going to do it is pretty basic. So just grab your hook. I have my rainbow loom hook here. And then grab your first colored band. Sorry for any background noises. And then just put it onto your hook like this. And then you want to twist that going to the left. And with this twist inside, you want to put it onto your hook like so. Now you have two loops. What you're going to do next is grab both loops and put it onto your finger and wrap them once again. I mean twist them going to the left and with that twisted side put it onto your hook like so. So you should have something that looks like this. What you're going to do next is grab a one band and twist it once on your hook creating two loops. Then grab both the loops and you're just going to slide this cap band here onto that band. Like so. And reclaim the other end on your hook. So we're going to do that for three times. And those are going to be the fingers. Or the, yeah, fingers. Or the toes. If that makes sense. So we're going to make three of those, so let's do that one, two more times. So grab one band, wrap it once to your hook, like so. And grab both loops, and wrap it once again. Now grab another band, wrap it once on your hook, grab a hold of the, the that band that you wrapped once, and just slide this cap band onto that band. Just slide it like so and reclaim the other end on your hook. I hope I'm being understood. Let's do that one more time. So grab one band, wrap it once on your hook, creating two loops. Grab both loops and twist it one more time on your hook. Grab another band, wrap it once on your hook, grab both loops and just slide this cap band that we did earlier before. And just reclaim the other end on your hook like so. Once you already have three of those finger things, what you're going to do is just grab one band and just uh, twist it once. Grab a hold of both loops and just slide all three of these on your hook one at a time carefully. Like so. After you do that, just reclaim the other end on your hook. And this is what you should have so far. After that, we are just going to be double chaining for a total of 8. So we already made, no, again, 8. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put 8 rubber bands in front of me. Like so, and I'm just gonna be grabbing them you know, every after I do the one thing. So again, one band, wrap once on your hook, grab both loops, and slide. That's what I mean by double chaining. Like so. Kind of pull it so that it uh, stays to its shape. Another band, twist, wrap once, grab both loops, and slide, reclaim the other end, one band, twist, grab both loops, and slide, reclaim the other end, pull to keep the shape, one band, twist once, grab both loops, and slide, reclaim the other end, until we are done. One band reclaim, and I mean slide and reclaim. One band slide and reclaim. One band slide 
and reclaim. One band twist, slide, and reclaim. If I'm going too fast for you guys, just slow the video down. You always have that option. There's a settings on that on YouTube, so you can do that. So once you are done, this is what you should have so far. So let's um, let's see if we did the right thing. So first we did these three finger things and we attached them together using one band here and then we did eight succeeding chains of double so one two three four five six seven and eight so once you are done and once you are sure just grab one band of your color body color and pull through everything like so and you can save this for later you may slip knot it but I'm not going to be doing that because I have a helping hook here. So I'm just going to slide it onto my helping hook. So that's how you make one of the arms and legs. So do yourself three more so that you're going to have four. And come back to me when you're done with that. So if you're back already and you resumed the video, I'm assuming that you are done with your arms and legs. So let's continue. So what we're, I keep saying so, anyway, what we're going to be doing next is the body, and the body comes as one, so very easy. So let's do that, grab your hook. What we're going to be doing, I, I actually don't have a written pattern for this guy, but it's fairly easy. I think I can manage to just look at it and, you know, know the pattern, I don't know. But the first thing that we're going to be doing is chaining three. So we're going to chain three. So what you're going to do is just grab a band first and wrap it once on your hook. So twist it going to the left and put that twisted side on your hook. So that's a cap band that's not included in our chain. This is where our chain is going to take place. So let's just take three bands here for sure because we're going to be chaining three. What you're going to do is grab one band and put it onto your hook and slide this cap band onto that band and reclaim the other end. And let's do that two more times so that we're going to have a total of three chains. So this is two and this is three. So now we have three chains, one, two, three, and your cap band. This is how it should look like. Oops. I just, you know, let go of that one. So don't panic if this happens to you. If, you know, they unravel like that, just be patient. Pinch this cap band. Reclaim your hook onto what band's on top. And just, you know, redo your chain. No need to panic. Anyway, that was probably so time consuming already, sorry. What we're gonna be doing next is we are gonna stitch two. Okay, we're gonna be stitching two here, two here, two here, four here, and into the other side, two, two, and two. So what I mean by that is like this. So first, you're just gonna grab another extra band, pull through this chain, reclaim the other end, and you want to push this right loop over the one on the left. Like so. And you want to go back to the chain like so. And do a stitch. Now you have two loops on this side. You want to pull that through like so. You want to drop that onto the band. And then for the next two chains, we're going to do two stitches again. So that's one in this one chain, one stitch in this chain, two stitches in that chain. Now let's move to the next chain and do our two stitches. After this row, we are going to have six, wait, 16 stitches. And on this chain, we are going to do four. 
we're gonna stitch four. That's one, two, three, and four. If you guys are hearing like hammer sounds, hammering sounds, or like tuk, 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 in the background, our neighbor is doing some repairs for their house, so today wasn't a very great time to film this video, but I hope it's just not that noticeable and hearable, whatever. Um, but once you're done doing four stitches on your um, cap band, we're just going to do two stitches on the rest of the chain, so two, two, two. I really hope that I'm being understood because I would cry if I'm being confusing to you right now. I hope I'm showing it right. I'm ho I hope that I'm explaining it right as well. So yeah, I just did two, two, two in the remaining three chains. And this is what I have now. So let's count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. After you have sixteen stitches, just grab your C clip and put it to this band on your hook like so. This is how it looks like. Again. We started making three chains and we went around doing two stitches in this, two stitches in this, two stitches in this. So two, two, two stitches. Sorry for the motorcycle. Again, we did two, two, two on the first chains, uh, for the three chains rather. And then on the cap band we did four. And on the remaining, on the three chains again we did two. So there is four in each of the holes. So four, 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 four. Now, what we're going to be doing is a very repetitive procedure. We're just going to do one row. Well, not one row. We're just going to do single stitches for an equivalent of rows. And I'm going to count how many rows I did. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we're gonna do nine rows of just single around. So, let's put our nine bands here to mark us, you know, as our marking rows. So, each band here um, stands for one row. I'm gonna do, I think, two rows with you guys. So, you're gonna have to do the other seven rows on your own, just to save some filming time. So yeah, maybe two rows or three rows, I don't really know, but yeah. So what we're going to do is just go to the first stitch of our piece here and grab one band from your pile of nine bands. And this is going to mark our first row of doing nine rows in total. So one of nine is getting... Uh, sorry one row of the nine rows that we're going to be doing in total is now starting and yeah since we are not doing anything else we're we are still pretty much going to end up with this is a weird band with 16 stitches and by the way if you notice these bands that i'm using right now aren't rain balloon bands so that's why they're all funky funky looking but you know I have some spare bands so I thought of using them yeah but yeah how are you all um uh what should I tell you guys but oh I think yeah yeah, yeah. I think also one main reason for my inactivity here is I had work it was like three weeks ago so I had work from that and I had to you know rejuvenate and detoxify so that's why I took a break from filming videos and I earned good money 
from that. It was, it was only a week of work, so it wasn't really long. But yeah, I had f I had fun, and I think that's what's important. So I had work, and I, I again I've been very busy with uh, my entries for Ginger's new contest. So yeah, I might sound selfish. You know, since I've already won, but yeah, for fun. But you know, I'm not really putting my high, t I mean, my hopes too high of winning, you know, since I've already won one time um, last year of her contest. So I'm not putting high expectations, but I'm still hoping to be one. But you know, it's still, you know, it's we're doing it for fun, not for competition. And I just did my one row, so yeah, while we were talking, I did one row. So let's count if we still have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm going to do my second row with you again, so don't pause the video first. And I'm just grabbing one band from my pile of bands here to mark my rows. So this is our second row of doing the nine rows. And again, we're gonna be ending up with 16 stitches. So yeah. What you guys up, what are you guys up to? How have you been? How's life for y'all? Let me know. Life for me is pretty, um, how should I describe? So we are already having our summer vacation from school, but our school's gonna start like two weeks from now, which is sad. I don't want to go to school yet, but I have to. So yeah, um, during like the time that I've been gone, I've been pretty much looming, looming. I've been looming every single day, which is great. I've been, I'm so active on Instagram actually. So if you haven't followed me, Go follow my Instagram, it's at Olympus underscore down underscore Loomer. And also there will be a link in the description as always. So check my Instagram out. So you can see there that I'm so active. Uh, that's just great. But because I was so active on Instagram, I forgot to be active here on YouTube. But I'm back to filming, hopefully. Hopefully, I keep saying this, but you know, I, I hope I can still release more videos before my school starts because I'm pretty much gonna be, you know, still gonna have a chaotic schedule for because of school. So yeah, I just hope that you know I can still maximize the time that I've left and post as much as many videos as I can. So yeah, so I did my second brow now. Let's count if we have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I think I'm going to do one last row with you. So we did three rows in total on camera. So we need to do nine rows. So we still have six rows to do after this row. So yeah. And also I've been enjoying summer too. We went to many beaches in my place and I've been really you know enjoying and taking my time to just have fun in the moment because school was definitely well school last school year was definitely so busy for me and stressful at the same time but yeah it was fun and all my hard work paid off you know we made it to the honor row we finished 11th grade with high honors. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> uh, ew. Um, I don't really like, you know, like sharing my achievements online. I just like, like prefer it being shared just, you know, within my family. I don't really like other people knowing because I just, I just don't like, yeah. But yeah, I'm very grateful. I'm very happy that, you know, all my hard work paid off and all my sacrifices went to a better cause so definitely a win-win so 
yeah, I hope you're still doing your rows. Um, but yeah, I did my third row, so I'm just taking my C cup off, putting to the band as my hook. And this is what I have so far. Total of three rows now. So let's do the six additional rows so that we can end up with nine rows done. And we'll see each other by then. See ya! Hey guys, so I'm back and I did my six, uh, six additional rows of single round. So again, a quick recap we did this piece and we are going to make nine rows of just single around i did three rows with you all so we are left with six rows to finish in order to complete the nine rows so if you're finished with your complete nine rows of single around this is what you should have so far just like mine like this and to count the rows that we did they're just basically these so each of these are one row so starting from okay we're not counting this top part here because there are before we started our nine rows so we start from here this is one two three four five six seven eight and nine so that's nine rows what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be closing it so what we're going to do is just stitch four I mean, yeah, four. So, one, two, three, and four. For this fourth one, we are gonna be slip knotting it. Like so. And now we can just get rid of our C club. So, the way I close it, oh, well, no, actually let's close it later let's add our facial features first so let's add our eyes and this thing on top of the eyes and the cheeks and the smile i almost forgot about that i was supposed i was about to close this guy this thing off and put the stuffing but anyway this is what you have make sure that well you can actually choose whatever side but since this is where we closed you should have this um, slip knot band onto your left side like so and now just grab your eye or safety eyes and put it to wherever you want it I'm putting it onto the second row of our single round so this is our first row and I'm putting it to some of the holes in our second row and we are doing them um, we are putting our eyes to the corners like so if you're happy with how your eyes are positioned don't worry it might look like this but it'll look like this because we're gonna add this thing for the eyes i think that's about okay for me so you put it onto the sides of your piece on the second row and they have a distance of one, two, three, four, five stitches in between. Like so. And now just grab your backing if you're using a safety eye. Use if you're using safety eyes. And do the backing. I mean attach the backing. Make sure though that you are satisfied with where it is placed. Once you're done with that, just flip back to the front. And this is what you should have so far. So let's do this I think. So to do this, we are going to use double bands, two bands. And we're going to stitch four around the eyes. This is how I do it. I'm just going to grab again two bands in each so I'm gonna grab eight bands in total like that I'm just gonna grab more bands from the pack so what we're gonna do is go to this corner so you have your eye here and wherever the 
and the bottom eye is you want to go to that position so this is your eye and there's a stitch here and you want to go to that here it's hard to explain but just pick a spot on where you want to start but it's normally the side of your eye so there's your eye here in my case I have my eye here and then go to the next stitch of your eye and just insert your hook there there we go so I go to the next stitch of your eye and insert your hook what we're gonna do is grab our two bands and pull through that stitch like so what we're gonna do is go up into the stitch here like so and grab one I mean your two bands and pull through everything on your hook reclaim the other end like so and go to the next stitch grab your two bands pull through everything on your hook reclaim the other end and go to the next stitch grab your two bands pull through everything reclaim the other end and what we're gonna do last is just go down here so to the we started on to the right of the eye and now we're gonna end it I mean the right side of the eye now we're gonna end it into the left side of the eye oh my gosh I'm so confusing I'm so sorry but yeah you're seeing what I'm doing that's what's important and just slip knot grab one band and pull through everything on your hook and slip knot and you can just hide this tail in so that's how you do the eye thing I hope I was understood oh my gosh I'm so scared I was confusing uh, but if you had a hard time following me just slow the video down it might help okay I'm gonna do this one more time to the next eye I'm gonna do it better so you have your eye here and you have the next stitch go to that stitch and start your hook to that stitch and then let's um, place our eight bands so two, four, six, and eight like so, two, 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 two and we already have our hook inserted to a stitch for the eye part just grab your two bands and pull it through that loop and what we're gonna do is go to this next stitch and two bands pull through everything on your hook and reclaim the other end and go to the next stitch here two bands pull through all the bands on your hook all the loops on your hook and reclaim the other end and go to the next stitch two bands pull through everything on your hook reclaim the other end and just go down a stitch to where your eye is so your eye there's a stitch and that's where you want to end this eye part and just slip knot so that's how you do the eye thing I really hope that I was being uh, I hope I was understood I th I think that was a bit confusing but yeah after you do you're done with that just kind of pull the band like so and there But yeah, I hope I was understood by the way. Um, anyway, let's proceed. I'm so sorry. Um, let's add the cheeks. So what we're gonna do is we have our eye here. We're gonna go to the side. We pick a stitch and grab our cheek band and just hook that in there and slip knot, but not a tight one.
and after that we're just gonna we're just gonna hide this inside like so fixing the cheeks like so and doing the same thing onto your other eye for the cheeks Like so. Wait, I'm gonna fix this. Where did I put my eye stitch? I mean cheeks. But yeah, you're just putting your cheeks to the side of your eye. But you can choose not to add the cheeks. It's very okay not to do this. But yeah, it's optional. So I'm sorry about that cut. I went off camera to fix my cheek placement. But anyway, let's just add our mouth now. So again, your black band that is cut. And we're going to be adding them somewhere here. So you have your eye band and go two rows down. So your eye is here. And then one, two. And then this is the area where we are going to be attaching our smile and we're gonna find three stitches in the middle like here and on the corners of those three stitches is where we are gonna be attaching each of the ends of our mouth or smile and just put them inside like so kind of yeah, like that. Now we have our smile. So we can stuff. And after we stuff, we are going to close. So I have my stuffing here. We're not gonna need a lot. Oh my gosh, this frog looks angry. Oh, it's happy now. Okay, I think that's about it for the stuffing part. Now let's close. And the way I close it is actually a bit different. So, let's see here. So you want your frog... Oh, we're gonna work onto the bottom part of our frog. What we're gonna do is... So you have your slip knot, make sure it's on top of your piece. We're gonna work with it here and just you know slide your hook through each of the corners here. So two and two, like so. So you have one stitch down and then one stitch on your hook and the other stitch on your hook across. What you're going to do first is stitch. Stitch like normal. And you want to grab a hold of this stitch, like so. And you want to go to the next two. So grab this first one first. The one closest to your hook. And then you're going to insert this slip, this stitch onto that. The, in, onto your hook. And go to the next side of your stitch. Like so. And you're going to stitch. Again, after you stitch, grab a hold of that stitch, go next, here, first, and then after you grab your, after you put your hook there, slide this band on your finger into your hook, and go to this next side here, the mirroring stitch of the first stitch that you put your hook through, and stitch one 
again and grab a hold of this stitch new, the new stitch and go to the next stitch and after you grab a hold of the first um, side of the stitch you want to slide your hook to your I mean slide your the band on your finger onto your hook and go to the next side of the stitch and grab one band and stitch and grab a hold of this band the stitch and go to the next side and after you pick a stitch from the next stitch from the side then you're just going to put the band on your finger onto your hook and grab the mirroring side stitch and grab one band and stitch and grab a hold of this and go to your next stitch and grab this and put this band on your finger to the hook and go to the mirror ring and just stitch like so and after that if you can still grab some stitches that's fine so I'm grabbing this one and I'm going to slide my the band on my finger and I'm just gonna unravel this lip knot a bit and I'm gonna pull it through the remaining loops on my hook and do a final slip knot and I'm just gonna hide the slip knot tail onto the inside so yeah that's how I closed this frog and just distribute your stuffing inside and as you can see it looks very weird but once we've attached our arms and legs, it will eventually look better. So yeah, that's how you close the bottom. And I hope that was understandable. But if you have your own way of closing, you can do that too. You can apply that to this creation. Um, if you want to follow mine, I hope you were able to follow it. If you weren't able to, then just slow the video down. So now let's do the last part, which is adding our arms and fingers. So where are we going to add them? We're gonna count two stitches down our smile. So this is our smile row. We're gonna go down twice. One, two. So we're gonna insert it somewhere here. Or whatever, wherever you want it. But not too far. So let's attach our arms first. And you're just slipping not slip knotting them. So very easy like so and hide your tail inside and do the same thing to the other side so just align go to the corner here align to the corner and slip knot and hide the tail inside if your stuffing are poking out just push them using your helping hook like so now you have attached your arms now for the legs we're just going to attach them onto these sides oh my gosh this frog looks evil but yeah to the corners here and here Slip knot. And hide. And do the same thing to this other side. Slip knot. And then hide. 
And when your stuffing are poking out, just push them in. Like so. And if you want to make it look like this, you can just kind of milling that so that they go to the side. Pinching them to go inside. Like so. And you're done. I'm just gonna fix this wonky frog off camera. So that is it. That is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you were able to follow along in creating this Lumiger Rumi for Rog. I hope I was not being confusing for a bit. I hope that I was understood through all the video tutorial. Um, yeah, this is it for today, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have more tutorials and videos coming soon. And if you make one, don't forget to post them and tag me. I will have my socials in the description below. And don't forget to use the hashtag Olympus the Loomer. This has been Olympus the Loomer, and I'm gonna be seeing you uh, guys. This has been Olympus the Loomer, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Coca, 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 coca